In the South, we have amazing creative opportunities to make that difference, which is something that I'm proud of, and that's the reason why I live here. As a Georgia artist and community organizer, Anthony Ferris believes in the power of art and understands firsthand that the South is in a unique position to foster creativity. And um, there would have been probably no way that I could have moved to a larger area like New York City and uh, run my own art gallery. Got to host 127 exhibitions in three years, work with a thousand artists, create uh, 52 concerts in those two years, and, um, and become an active community member where people recognized me on the street and uh, knew me as that person who um, worked with art and created opportunities for the community. For Ferris, that community was Swainsboro, Georgia, a small traditional town of about 7,000 people. Starting in 2007, Ferris led a community arts incubator called Gallery RFD. Aided by the help of several friends and colleagues, including fellow artist Brian Galani. Our vision was to work in rural communities, uh, being art advocates and teaching and offering opportunities that uh, you might not get in a rural community. Exhibition, education, outreach, three goals. A simple mission that Gallery RFD followed to great success, bringing art to the forefront and filling gaps in the local school system. They had cut all of the, uh, the arts um, um, classes and programs for the middle school and the elementary school, um, so there was a definite need for arts education in the community. One of our main goals was to expose people to as many different kinds of art as possible. What's more, Gallery RFD was able to do something remarkable, attach an economic value to art. Ferris and Galani say Gallery RFD's events and exhibitions drove business into the area. In the first year, uh, with the events that we ran, uh, we uh, raised about $20,000 for local businesses in the downtown area through the arts, which I think was a very, very positive thing. But in 2010, a harsh reality set in. The recession hit, striking deep into state budgets and forcing tough decisions across the United States. And the reality is, the role of South Carolina's government in the year 2011 can no longer be to fund the Arts Commission at a cost of two and a half million. Gilani says Gallery RFD's primary backer didn't stand a chance. Georgia Rural Economic Development Center um, sponsored the Art Incubator Project until 2009, and um, um, we didn't receive any grants after that, and uh, Gallery RFD closed in um, uh, the, very end, uh, the very beginning of 2010. It's hard, it's really hard, because people just don't have money these days, and they're not spending it on art. You know, the money they do have, you know, they're paying bills, and taking care of family and, and whatnot.